Hi, everybody. Welcome to Baseball Discourse. I am Dan Lavallo. And in honor of this being Black History Month, I am going to put on the channel some of the interviews I have conducted with some of the greatest African-American baseball players. In fact, I already have listed one, an interview I did with Willie Mays back in 1973. And I have some others, including one I did with Hall of Famer Buck Leonard in 1983. Let me give you some background. In 1983, I was broadcasting games for the Kinston Blue Jays. They were the single-A affiliate of the Toronto Blue Jays. And uh, I was broadcasting their games. And one night, Buck Leonard happened to be at the ballpark. And so I interviewed him on the pregame show. A little background on Leonard. He was a Negro League star, played with the Homestead Grays in the Negro Leagues between 1934 and 1950. And he was also a teammate of one of the all-time greats, Josh Gibson. In fact, both he and Gibson were inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1972. In 1999, the Sporting News ranked Leonard number 47 among the 100 greatest players to ever play baseball. Number 47. Leonard was 75 when I interviewed him. We talked about his career we talked about Jackie Robinson. We talked about the Hall of Fame and so much more. Here is my interview with the great Buck Leonard. Our guest on the pregame show tonight is baseball Hall of Famer Buck Leonard. Buck is in our broadcast booth right now. Buck Leonard is a Hall of Famer. And Buck, tell me, what kind of feeling is it for you to be in baseball's Hall of Fame? It's, well, it's the greatest feeling I ever had. I, nothing on the baseball field equal to being inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Buck, where did you play baseball? I played baseball uh, 23 years, professional baseball 23 years. I started out in Rocky Mountain on the Sandlot team. I left there and went to Portland, Virginia and played on that uh, semi-pro team and then to Baltimore on the semi-pro team and to New York with the Brooklyn Royal Giants. And in, that was all in 1933. In 1934, I went to... Homestead, Pennsylvania, rest near Pittsburgh, and played with the Homestead Grays, and I stayed out there 17 years. We were in the Negro National League. Okay. What was it like playing in the Negro Leagues back then? It was tough. When we first started out, I was getting $125 a month for four and a half months a year. May, June, July, August, and half of September. Did you get wind before it became public knowledge that Branch Rickey was going to make Jackie Robertson the first black player in the Major Leagues? In 1945, 1945, we were in New York City getting ready to go to Caracas in Venezuela with an all-star team, an all-star team from the Black League, going to play against the local team in Caracas in Venezuela. But while we were there at the hotel waiting to leave the next night, Branch Rickey came to the hotel. And he talked to Jackie Robson. Jackie Robson went with us. Jackie Robson, Campanella, Sam Jethro, all of those went with us to Caracas in 1945 to play the local team. We asked Jackie about it again. He said, no, there ain't nothing to it. But Branch Rickey had told Jackie not to say anything about it. Let Branch Rickey make all the announcements. Obviously, it took a certain player beyond just talent to uh, break into the major leagues. What did... What did Branch Rickey, do you think, see in Jackie Robinson that made him select Jackie as the first? Jackie was big. He was about 6'1 or 6'2. He weighed about 220 pounds. And uh, he was fast. And um, he was intelligent. He had been in UCLA, and he had played against white boys. He had played with white boys. And the rest of us had played against him, but not with him. And we felt like, and Branch Rickey felt like, he was the ideal fella to be the first to get into the major league. Buck Leonard, what is your biggest baseball thrill? Getting into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Coverstown, New York. That's my biggest thrill. Do you remember where you were when you found out you were going in? Well, I was in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, and Minor Irvin called me and asked me could I come to New York. I asked him for what? They were going to try to pick up all black team to go into the Hall of Fame. An all black team and put a picture into the Hall of Fame, a photo. Saying, want you to come to New York and help pick the team. I thought, all right. So I went to New York the next day, and when I got there, I thought that I was going to help pick an all black team. They put a photo 
into the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. And then the next morning, he said, come on, we're going over here to where they're having a little meeting. And we went over there to the, in the uh, Americana Hotel, and the commissioner was there, Boyd Cone. So what are you doing here? I said, well, he want to see what you're going to say. And then they said, Frank Gifford, we are here to make an important announcement. And uh, then the commissioner said, took over. Said, the committee has seen fit to make two announcements. Said, now, Fletcher Page had gone into the Hall of Fame in 71, the year before. Said, the committee had decided to name Josh Gibson for the Baseball Hall of Fame. Then the committee has also seen fit to name Buck Lennon for the Baseball Hall of Fame. That's the biggest thrill I've ever had in my life. What are you doing now? I'm trying to sell some real estate, but I'm not not selling it. I'm doing some talking, but not selling anything. Buck Leonard, thank you very much for stopping by and being my pregame guest tonight, and good luck to you. Yeah, thank you. Enjoyed everything. Well, there you have it, my interview with Buck Leonard. By the way, Leonard died at the age of 90 on November 27th, 1997. I hope you enjoyed the interview and I hope that you will subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and listening to Baseball Discourse.